The trails in Pisgah, how do you describe them? They change from ride to ride, and it makes you want to come back for more and more. That's Pisgah. Today, we're gonna to take you on one of the most popular loops. It's Thrift Cove to Lower Black. You'll ride with myself and Brittany for a side-by-side -side perspective. You ride with John for some POV perspective, and then for some stranger lines, you'll ride with Pat. So stick around to the end for that. Roll the intro. Welcome to Squatch Bikes. Here we are with the start of Thrift to Lower Black. Just getting started up Thrift Cove. You'll see right here, this is the exit of Lower Black. That's where we'll be coming out. You just wanna to stay to the right and keep heading up Thrift. So we just finished the initial climb on Thrift Cove. We're not too far in and we've come to our first main and only split of the day and that is right up here at Grassy. Grassy is going to take us to the right. We actually want to stay left and continue up Thrift Cove which will eventually take us straight to Black. So now we are about halfway distance wise to lower black things have definitely started to warm up i've taken my jacket off uh, the nice thing is we are about two-thirds to three-quarters of the way done with our climbing so from here it starts to mellow out uh, as far as the climb goes you'll know it by a nice little open area and a nice bend to the left let's just go ahead and finish out the rest of this climb So we just finished thrift, bottom of it there, nice little descent, a little bit of chatter, super fun and fast. Brings us right out here to the top of Lower Black. Uh, and right here, uh, you'll see the exit of Middle Black. And you want to kind of watch as you're in the middle of an intersection and people are coming pretty fast through here. But that's about it for the climb. Nice little warm up descent, and now we're going to jump into Lower Black. So we've come to our first real main feature on Lower Black, which is a rock garden that leads into a bridge. One of the things on Lower Black that we definitely want to be cautious of is if the bridges are wet, they can be like ice. Uh, but we're just going to kind of blow through this rock garden. There's not a really a whole lot coming back at you. It is man-made, so there's not a lot that's going to stop your front wheel. So we can pedal through it, we can go slow, or you can bomb through it. We'll just kind of go through it at a light pedaling pace just to show you, and we'll see you on the other side. So now we've made it through the upper flowing section of Lower Black and through the initial rock garden and bridge. Let's keep rolling down the trail.
as crazy as it sounds, that bridge right there is probably the most dangerous thing on this whole trail. It's flat, it's straight, and people wipe out there all the time. Uh, mainly because it's so slick right at the end and people are hitting their brakes. So the best thing you can do is square up to it and just roll through. You don't need to go fast. So we are coming down to the end here. It's basically gonna get flattened out. We will see you guys at the bottom. So that was the conclusion to Lower Black. Nice little rock garden there at the bottom. It's pretty smooth. You can hammer through it really fast or you can take your time, go slow if you're a little bit sketched out about it. You have now ridden up Thrift, come all the way around, 750 foot climb roughly, and descended Lower Black. Enjoy it.